All right, so we are here at Miami Homestead Speedway with the championship four. You'll see them out there. I'm in the NBC Sports number 20 car because 19 was taken by some guy named Martin Truex Jr. Uh, if you saw earlier in the playoffs, I actually led the field on the Burnout Boulevard in Las Vegas in the NBC Sports car. So this is a culmination of us making it to the championship four. I'm not sure how we did that because it's now become the championship five with us in it. Here we are on a restart, 550 horsepower package this year not hard to get the power down. The key is gonna be in these first few corners, being able to use the draft. You see the inside lane had the momentum there. That's gonna happen. Normally, as you come off turn two, the outside lane, you're gonna try and tuck up behind the cars in front of you as I'm right behind virtual Denny Hamlin, trying to push him down the back stretch. That is gonna be the most treacherous time for these championship four contenders, these restarts. Do the non-championship contenders get involved at all, decide to push other cars? That's gonna be a question. Here we are pushing Denny Hamlin, virtual Denny Hamlin once again, trying to make momentum. You'll probably have a close group of cars for a lap or two here with this package at Miami, but it will eventually revert to the Miami of old where you're gonna have tire wear. You're gonna start spreading out and moving around. Right now, we're still clumped up. And when you do that, what lane you choose is gonna be very important. We've talked about for years how you wanna run the wall, but you don't wanna always take that risk. That's gonna be the question. If you get too close to that wall, you might get into it. Put the fenders in the tire, have a tire blow out. That's the end of your championship hopes. So you've got to be very careful of how to use that. In talking to Rodney Childers from the four car, he told me he feels like the wall is gonna be more important than ever. So let's do it right now. We're going off into turns three and four. Oh, Kevin Harvick took my leg. He's listening to his crew chief, Rodney. Oh, I got a little tight. Oh, oh, he almost got in the wall. That's how close you need to run, and that's how close you get each and every lap you run the wall. So we'll go off into turns one and two now. This is exactly like real life. They'll all be racing around each other, sure enough. You'll lift a little bit, and then you need to be next to the wall. You need to be scraping it. I was actually too low there. I, gosh, I obviously don't want to win a championship. Look at the momentum, though. Look at that. Hey, Kevin Harvick, see you later. Going by. Back to the outside once again. Lift a little bit. Ease back in the throttle right next to the wall. You can hear the exhaust reverberating off the wall that happens and now the momentum down the back stretch catching these two in front of me oh this is a big momentum i'm gonna use this i'm gonna go through the middle split them oh look at that to the lead NBC sports car guess what since i control this it's now the last lap we're gonna go win the championship right here take the w going down the back stretch oh we still got them they're not even gaining where is she gonna you know what i'm gonna run the middle don't need to take the risk got too big of a lead Spotters telling me, hey, dude, it's all yours. You're going to be a champ right here. Woo! We win it. Look at this. It's easy. You know what? What's the big fuss about? We only had to, we already made it to the, we didn't even do any races. We just won. Look at that. All right, Marty, you can come talk to me on the front stretch. We're the champs. MZ Sports Car. Thank you very much. It's been a great season. We'll see you all in 2020. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.